Hey there kind people, it's me Yunbit. I'm back, this time to review S plus 4th mini album, Drama. Before I start, I would like to remind you, here I rank and review at the same time. The song I will talk at first is the least favorite of mine and the song I will talk at the end is the best song from the album, according to me. That's all, now let's get started. So catch me if you can, boy. Now you see me, now you don't. Trick and trick. It starts off well, it was going good, then it lost. It is such a boring song, even though it is the second shortest song in the album, but it feels like the longest. It is also somewhat repetitive. You are listening to a line, then you skip a further, then it feels like you are listening to the same line. Drama. Yeah. Drama, the trial tag. I already talked about this in my short channel, you better check that out. The opening verse was cool, I like the vocals, I guess you can go wrong with that. But the thing as for always go wrong with is the beat drop chorus. After the beat drop, I didn't like anything. The chorus sucks. And as we all love the Korean thing in the end of Spicy, they tried to add something Drama. like that in this chorus but totally failed cause it sounds so cringe. After the chorus, they again build up some of my interest with their awesome voice but but again the second chorus starts, it ruined everything. Don't play. It is the third track in this album. At this time, I was questioning myself why I am listening to this album. I knew this album going to disappoint me. Then when I started to listen to this song, I saw some hope. There is still some hope left. I was liking the song. I like the beginning. I like how it is building. At the 40 second of the song, the chorus starts, which is good too. The chorus has two part. Or you can say after the chorus ends, it leads to an extended post chorus, which ends at 1 minute and 2 seconds. Then again, the next first start, I was liking that too. So far, looks like I'm going to love that song, right? Wrong. Just after 20 seconds of second verse, the second chorus start with an extended post chorus. Then we see some instruments and awesome raps and bridge. Then there comes the another chorus with the extended post chorus, obviously. It is the shortest song of the album, just 2 minutes and 49 seconds, and more than 1 minute of the song is just chorus. Although the ad libs in the end was cool, but totally failed to save the song. Next, Olo or YOLO, I don't know. I didn't have any expectation from this song because it sounds like Don't Blink and I thought I would not like it because it is just busting beats on my ears. But it was quite good. It is true it has so much upbeat and even if I listen to this song, I will never listen to this on a low. And I don't even dare to listen to this song back to back twice. But if it randomly plays, I would not skip it. It's more like I don't hate the song but I don't love it either. Hot Air Balloon. It was the song that played after Don't Blink and at that point in my heart, I have decided it is the trash album. But then the Hot Air Balloon plays. It kinda saves the album. I don't have any particular reason to like the song. Probably it is just a good song, goes with my vibes. Or probably after listening to all of the crap, when I listen something new, something that doesn't skip on my ear, I hold on to it. The song reminds me of Lion's Pop. I feel both have the similar vibe. This would have been a great title take in my opinion. You, there comes the low beat song. It started with piano, right from the start it sounds heavenly. Their vocals, how can I compliment their vocals? There is no word that are enough to describe their heavenly voice. The song doesn't even sound like a b-side, it, it sounds more like a OST, totally awesome. Better Things. Even before listening to the album, I knew Better Things would be at the top. Better Things got an unfair advantage here. I already listened to this song. It was continuously playing on my Spotify. I already liked it when I first listened. Then listening to it several times made me love it more. To be honest, even if I would listen to it first time in this album, I'm certain it would be at least on number 2. There is a possibility you might replace Better Things. Either way, I love both. I bring all the drama, la, la, la. I bring drama, la, la, la.
overall it was not a good album i will listen to you more often i have already listened to better things a lot i might also listen to hot air balloon from time to time but other than these three i will never listen to any other song from this album those were literally trash at least according to my test probably you guys might like a bit song more and you might sound boring to you either way tell me your ranking of the album and give me your review in the comment and if you want to see more k-pop or k-dama or perhaps just me you better click on that glowing subscribe button and if you did i will see you guys in the next video until then have an awesome life